Hi! So I don't know about you guys, but one of the things I'm guilty of is acting like I know about a subject matter just because I've seen a TV show or movie about it. Hey Nat, do you know anything about football? Um, I've seen the movie Blindside with Sandra Bullock and I've seen all of Friday Night Lights, so... Yeah, I know about football. Well, do you know what's happening here? I've got no idea. Yeah, that... <clears throat> it'd be a, um... It was a five-yard penalty. A five-yard penalty. Oh, okay. And what's the position of that player there? That would be the... You're not a quarterback. A quarterback. That would be the quarterback. Oh, okay. Then who's this player over here? I have to eat yogurt now. And I don't know when this happened, but I seem to be pretty comfortable and confident passing off things that I've seen in TV shows and movies as knowledge. I mean, there were American airborne landings in Normandy. There was Operation Market Garden. There was the Battle of Bastogne. You know a lot about World War II. I had no idea you were so into history. More like really into the show Band of Brothers. Box set. You know, I like to read. Though I'm a little bit concerned because I'm starting to believe that because I've seen things happen on screen enough times, if I'm ever in the same situation, I've got it under control. So here's a couple of skills and situations that I think I can handle because of TV and movies. Number one, being attacked. If you're ever attacked, make sure you scratch the person who's attacking you. That way when they find your body, the DNA of your attacker will be under your nails. Source, CSI, being a terrorist. My name is Nicholas Bro. Don't even think about making a video, because if you make a video, they're going to use it in the news against you, even though you didn't do anything. Yeah, then you can't be with your FBI girlfriend. Source, Homeland. Because I've seen a lot of action movies, I'm pretty sure I'd know how to stop a ticking time bomb. I'd know which wire to cut, because it's always red, right? Why do they always pick between red and black? Red, red, cut the red one. Source, Common Sense. Unbelievable. Yeah. Let me know though, are you the same? Do you have any kind of knowledge or skills that you feel that you've acquired through just watching a TV show or movie? Let me know in the comments what they are. Speaking of comments, as we venture into porno music slash comment time, I would like to say I am sorry that it's definitely felt like it's been longer than a week since my last upload. Uh, and no, thank you for pointing that out, but the lump was not real, it did not kill me. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or on Facebook, I mentioned that I got a little bit caught up with work. If you want to follow me on those, I do update them more regularly sometimes than my videos, with really important information, by the way. Um, but yes, no, I apologise, I got really caught up with work, but now I will be making videos back on my weekly schedule again. And also a big shout out to these lovely people who I had the pleasure of meeting. Anyway, like I said, I'm back to my weekly uploads. Let me know what skills you have acquired from the screen and I will see you in a week, which is Wednesday if you're in the Asia Pacific region or Tuesday everywhere else. And I hope you guys are really well till then. Bye. Yogurt, 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 yogurt. I have to bid on eBay now. I have to eat now. I always have to eat now. The downside about movie knowledge though is when you get caught out. Like how I used to always think I knew a lot about hockey just because I watched Mighty Ducks as a kid. It's a five shot shootout. I love when they do the flying V and when the mum marries the coach.